Quick check in on the markets. The Dow, if you look down more than 200 points right now, one top strategist from Goldman Sachs forecasting that the S&P 500 basically goes nowhere this year. With that in mind, it may be time to consider some alternative investments. Euro-Pacific Capital CEO Peter Schiff is with me from Connecticut. So, Peter, where should investors think about at least diversifying, putting some of their money instead of U.S. stocks? Well, I think there's a whole world out there, in particular certain countries that don't have anywhere near uh, the enormity of the problems that the United States does. And in fact, if I were as convinced as everybody else that the Fed was actually about to raise interest rates sometime this year, I would be even more negative on the U.S. stock market than I am, because I think the Fed is going to rescue the U.S. stock market with QE4. But when they do that, they what? sacrifice Wait a minute, the Peter, dollar. You're the only and person I've heard say that. <laughs> Doesn't mean you're wrong. Well, more and more people are. <laughs> well, I've been saying it for a long time, but more and more people are going to be waking up to this reality. And my point is, in order to save the markets, they sacrifice the dollar. And I think that is the real concern investors need to have, not just the U.S. stock market going down, but the dollar. And the way to protect yourself from that, but still have exposure to markets, is to invest in the countries against which the dollar is going to be falling. Okay, so we're so buying stocks Europe? in New Zealand and well, there are parts of Europe. I like Switzerland. I like parts of Scandinavia. But I was saying I like New Zealand. I like Singapore, I like Hong Kong, certain emerging markets, Australia, Canada. There are a lot of currencies that have gone way down because speculators have bet that the Fed's going to raise rates and that has suppressed the value of those currencies. So rather than taking a vacation in these countries to get take advantage of a cheap hotel room, use your overpriced dollars to make some strategic investments in their stock market. So Peter, let's say if the Fed just stays on hold. In other words, your QE4 plan, it does not come to pass. But even just the Fed stays on hold where it is, doesn't tighten, doesn't raise rates. Is it still a good time to look at commodities? Well, if the Fed doesn't raise rates, that is, in effect, an easing because everybody has anticipated higher rates. So if they have to come to terms with the fact that rates aren't going up, that's going to be like an easing. And yes, it will be good for commodities. It will be good for gold. It will be negative for the dollar. But it's my point that if the Fed doesn't deliver QE4, we will be in a recession. And of course, if we go into recession, the only arrow in their quiver is QE4 because they can't cut rates because they never lifted them from zero. All right. Never lifted them from zero. So to what extent then <laughs> in your scenario is the Fed responsible if it happens and this top Goldman strategist saying at, at least for for the stock market, the S&P 500 holds steady, that is to say, does not gain anything net-net for investors this year. Well, I think the Fed is responsible for a lot of the problems that we have. In fact, it's made all of our problems worse in its effort to solve them. But the stock market is going to be trapped between two diametrically opposing forces. One is going to be a recession that's going to weaken corporate earnings and therefore weaken the value of U.S. stocks. And then the other, which is going to be supporting the market, is the extra liquidity, all the inflation that they create by launching QE4. So the net effect may be the stock market goes sideways, but the real value of those stocks is going to plummet because the dollar is going to fall. And so the way investors guard themselves against that purchasing power loss is by investing abroad. All right, Peter, thank you very much. Way out there, but I like it. We'll have you back. <laughs> and of course, we'll monitor what's going on with the Fed right along with you. Peter Schiff joining me there, Euro Pacific Capital.